now in the case of Ankur, the central character was a girl, a woman. And so I had asked several well-known actresses. They were not certain about whether they wanted to be in it or not. And then suddenly one day I find this young woman who had been, uh, who was brought to me by an assistant of mine. And uh, he, she came to see me. And she hadn't done any films at that time, but she was, she'd just done a course, acting course, at the Film and Television Institute of India. And uh, she was very young. She was uh, barely 21 at the time, I think. And uh, she, she, uh, she came and she brought photographs and everything like that. But the moment I saw her, I knew that I had found my central character. Although my, in my original story, she was supposed to be older. And that person who, who came to see me, who I put on the film immediately, was Shabana Azmi. That's how she got introduced into the cinema. The second thing was the young male character, who, who is the young landlord. Now, I was looking for someone and like, you know, you ask people, who do you think, will that person be right, says this, that and the other. So there was one, one young person who had spoken to me and I said, yes, why don't you come and see me? So in order to give himself a little bit of moral support, he brought a friend of his and the I chose the friend, not him, and that was Anand Nag. So when you are making a film, whether you like it or not, there are a lot of unexpected things happen. And there are so many ways that you resolve them and find solutions for the problems. Filmmaking is not a mechanical process. It's a process that is very, in many ways, organic, largely because it's human beings.